Alrighty, folks, what is going on today? We're going to uh, go back in again with our Vendred Turbo because, man, do I like this deck. Um, but the one situation does come up a lot is uh, since we do Turbo throughout this whole damn deck, it does, um, it gets a little to the point where ye can't really do too much. All right, there we go. That's all I wanted to see. I just want to see him fucking negate my ash. That's all out the hell. That's thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Because every time I have pre prep, somebody has an ash. Thank God. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Pre really do appreciate that. All right. So, oh no, computer, don't start doing that now. No, god damn it. Ah, makes no sense, man. Makes no sense. You see how I was just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And then my damn fucking what's the name just does dumb shit. All right, so here, what I can technically do is I can grab evolution and dump battle lord, and then I, I just really want to trade in. All right, so you know what? Since this is technically Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, we're gonna see what we can do with this because this is a decent play to not I'm just I'm not even gonna lie this is a pretty decent play uh, we're gonna get a free draw from there free draw there's an allure we can activate this we can banish the slayer that's at the top so we can just call monsters just in case this man has anything and see now anima is live so here um uh let me see here where was I going with this? I don't want to waste anything good. I don't want to waste this unicorn. I think I'm going to have to. I can make this co-link, huh? Yeah, I can co-link this motherfucker. Alright, so here. Use Battle Lord's effect. You don't want to use Unicorn's effect. Um, so add the Executor. Then what we can do is dump Core or Hound Horde. Hmm. I'm trying to see because... There's no way to get okay. We can spell summon Slayer, but then again, that doesn't do too much. Um, we could dump Core to make it on target. You know what? Yeah, let's let's get Core. No, 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 no. We have one for one. We have a lot of things. Let's get Hound Order because I feel like I'm just gonna lose to some dumb shit. Um, ooh, there we go. There's see. Wait, what? I don't have a ritual spell. I don't have a level seven in the deck. That's disgusting. Yo, man, this is this is the problem with Vendreds, man. We we do too goddamn much in one turn. Um. All right, so with this, I think we uh we done fudged ourselves. Damn, dog, we got rid of all of them. That's sick. That's sick. We done fudged ourselves, folks. Um. Hmm. Can I stop the normal summoning yet? I can't go board load. Um, this is gonna just have to end our turn, man. We're gonna just have to end our turn with that. Hold on. Oh God. All right. Well, this should be easy. This should be an easy matchup because, like I said, Hound Horde takes care of a lot of stuff. Oh God. Oh God. Hound Horde takes care of a lot of stuff. And thanks to Anima. We're able to get stuff with a relative of ease. So, what the hell did he just search? He searched Eternal Soul. This game is completely. I'm not losing. I'm not losing nothing. This is terrible. This is the worst. That was the worst play I've ever seen. You don't even have a circle, and you grab that. Jesus Christ! What is wrong with these people? All right, so let's activate Vendor at Knights. Oh shit, excuse me. As far as I know, he doesn't have anything to do. Use this, discard that. Let's add us a Revenant. See, this is why I want to play Triple Slayer. Exactly why I want to play Triple Slayer. Hmm. I could discard these other Vendor at Knights because technically I don't need it. Let's discard these Vendor at Knights. And this is good because if he torrentials, I'm able to animal. I'm able to anima. Wait, does this have to be exact level? You son of a bitch, bro. I hate this damn card. 
Oh man, I, I forgot about that. You can't even ritual summon properly. I, once again, I don't understand this whole entire play. Oh my god, like... You literally locked... You literally just lost it. You really lost the game. What are you doing? Alright, folks. Alright, get ready for the next duel. Um, you can stay watching this if you want to. You guys already know what's happening. Only way he can stop this is if he has an effect veiler. And even if he does have an effect veiler, I'm not even going to let him resolve the effect veiler. Because that's just how terrible... Wait, do I have an executor in my graveyard? Do I have an executor? I have an executor in my in graveyard, bro? Y'all know what's happening here. Y'all know what's happening, right? Y'all know what's happening. And, oh, you know what? I don't even have to go to what's the name. Don't even have to go into it. Activate this. Summon executor. We can use... Oh, don't cheat. Don't cheat. Monster. Monster. And monster. Don't even cheat me, bro. I'm going to put it right here because, you know, some sometimes they play random shit. Um, so now, you can't even target my monsters. So let's get that out the way. That's going to kill everything on your board. Um, what else is in here? Core? We're not even going to use that today. We're just going to attack. So not only can you not target, I can banish. And I can uh, banish a special summon monster. Come on, man. Come at me, bro. And you're playing... Like, you're playing... You're, you're, you're playing Dark Magicians. Like, that... First of all, that was a mistake not getting Circle. I knew it. I knew it. All right, folks. All right. So let's see what we got going on today. I really like the fact Jesus this hand is fantastic I really like the fact that um you're able to I don't even know what the hell I want to get to be honest with you that was a kind of a blind one um do we just grab executor fudge it fudge it um I should have grabbed battle lord that was bad oh that was a bad play all right so no, actually it's not, because we need to keep one of those at the deck, apparently. Alright, so what I can do, is I can technically, uh, not technically, but I can Reverend Dread Evolution to dump what's the name. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that, because that's, that's going to be the play of the century right now. You can send Strides and a Manju, and this is why I play two Strides, because this is the shit that happens. We go through our Strides early game, you guys already know how Strides is, and you know how I feel about a Strides, my guy. So then we can go Vampire Sucker. Oh, you know, I already ordered. I pre-ordered this. When, uh, what's the name came out with that? What's the name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, House of Champions. When he came out with that, uh, what do you call it? Came out with that little, uh, Market Watch or whatever y'all want to, you know, say it was. Like, that shit got me to where I needed to be. He told me, you know, uh, nine bucks. There's, there, there's my chippy. There's my chippy. Yo, I kind of want to bring the Battle Lord out to be honest with you. Because Battle Lord can dump the anima. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to Wesson him. I can Skull Deed him. But is it is it the best play though? See, I can go Evolution to. Uh, no, I can't use Evolution. I can Origin, Banish the Executor, right? Special Summon, Battle Lord. Um, then Vendred Charge to give me the core. And this can dump anima and we can go we can do that should we do it? we should do it fuck it fuck it this is Yu-Gi-Oh pro folks we are we are going in we are going to be playing going to be playing good Yu-Gi-Oh today my guys going to be playing good Yu-Gi-Oh's today um and then this can get the core because core is just a fantastic fucking card why did I think I was going to be able to get another oh I am dumb no, I don't want some core. <laughs> it was okay. We could we 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 could technically still do it. Um. All right. So we're gonna add another executor. This is gonna dump anima. Where's anima? Yeah, we're gonna dump that. All right. So I believe we play Link Karibo. Yeah, we do. All right. So if <laughs> I messed up, I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to special summon this and dump core. That would have been the better play. All right. So we've already summoned Battle Lord. So we can banish that. We can go. All right. Here we go. So here we go. This was a that was a very disgusting play just now. Fudge it, let's go this guy. Let's draw some four cards. Oh, now that's pretty good. We already used Strides, Anima. We can put this. Because we can just add one back when we put that. And I guess we can put 
Um, Anima or Strider is back. Let's put Strider. I don't want to get rid of all three of them. Um, so activate this. Activate Battle Lord. Yep, so add a ritual spell back. We can activate the evolution. Then we can activate a lore. Hmm. Damn it, it's a fucking slayer. Uh no, we need a what's the name? Let's banish slayer, I guess, because we don't technically need that. And then we draw the best. Come on, man! I'm just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And you know what? We were gonna get to that revenants too, because we were gonna go terraforming, discard the anima, search revenants, special summon revenants off the slayer, use anima to get the houndor back, ritual summon for a slayer, and that would have been pretty much the game, bro. This is fantastic. <sighs> fuck. I really don't want to do this because I already know what's gonna happen. But fuck it. Oh, he doesn't have it. The game is this. This game is over, bro. As you can see, we we open up pretty good. Vendred Knights is finally finally showing its worth, even though it still should have said one card. To be 1,000 with y'all, probably should have discarded the, uh, what's the name, because this doesn't seem too good. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Fudge it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, fudge. That didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen. But it's okay. We can use this. We can special summon Slayer. Dumping Slayer. Bam. Then we can activate Preparation of Rights. Adding Battle Lord. Come here. Come here. Come here. Because I already I already see it coming. Oh my god, this is so hurtful. Um, and then what we can do is activate Origin. We can banish the executor out of the grave. We can summon Battle Lord, banish the executor out of the grave. To go bam. Then what we can do is go Vampire Sucker. This is a waste of a lot of resources, but it is very fun to do. All right, so we can go one, two, because Slayer is the better one. Um, nope, don't need the Vendra charge just yet. We can add the Executor, and then we can dump. What do I want to dump here? Hound Horde? Because we can Vendra charge a Hound Horde. Um... All right, so yeah, Hanhor can spell summon itself. So yeah, that's the one we're gonna send to the graveyard. Then we're gonna add a origin because we don't have one in our hand. And then we can dump the Strigus so we can get a free draw. Doesn't matter, matter. Nope. Bam, draw a card. That was pretty good. I feel alive out of that call. Yeah, that was pretty good. Really good. <clears throat> that was really fucking good. Um, yeah, I think that's. Do we have to bring Executor on this motherfucker? I think Executor is actually really fucking good. Um, I think so. I think so. I think we just have to bring an Executor on this thing. Uh, let me see here. So we're going to use Hound Horde, discarding. It doesn't really matter. It's the same exact thing. Core. Use this. Guess we can get rid of the executor out of the hand. Special summon revenants. Then we can use execute out of our graveyard. We can banish the one we summoned. Special summon. This is a good Skoldy play. Hmm. That Skoldy does seem delicious, but we're gonna try to, I guess, play like Konami wanted us to do. Konami want us to do this. We're going to try to do it. Don't know why I put it right there because if this man is playing what's the name, we're just in trouble. And once again, I do it again. I do it again. Um, yeah. Vampire Suck is really just here to get a free draw. So we could banish. This, we could banish. So this is the ultimate board right here because he can't target anything. Well, he's not supposed to be able to target anything, but Yu Gi Oh! Pro has a problem with that. No need to chain anything like that. Kaiju. Get me a Kaiju. So not only. Oh yeah, this game is this game is fantastically over. This game has to be fantastically over. So not only what? Sure. If you have a if you have a three scale, Iris, fine. Like if you have a three scale, I can't beat you. I cannot beat you. I mean a level three monster. Um Sure. I don't know what he's going for. Okay, so that's that's that. 
to activate the aid skill, he's going to be able to pendulum summon. Sure. Go ahead and get your, uh, what's the name? He can't target. So, I mean, if Dark Destroyer was that good, I'm pretty sure this is that good. All right. So, I'm not, I don't think I'm activating. I probably should have just banished that, to be honest with you. But he doesn't have a Wesson or he doesn't play it. So, that's, that's a good thing. Like I said, we can protect it twice from damage. I mean, from battle. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to lose this one. It's going to pendulum summon, and if it declares an attack, he gains what? No, he. Let me see. Once we turn an attack, to declare. Jesus, fudging Christ! When an attack is declared, you have odd eyes in your pendulum zone. You can make that monster you control gain 1,200 attack. And then if a Adas character is destroyed. Alright, so he's probably gonna go what's the name thinking he can do some good shit. Now if he's bad, not not if he's bad, nobody really knows about this guy, but all you have to do is hover over him and it clearly tells you what he can't be what, what can't be done to him and what does he do. It's gonna go big eye. I I, <laughs> I knew he was gonna do it. I really did. I knew he was gonna do it. That's why I said it's easily one read. He's gonna quit too, or she's gonna quit. Never mind. Nicole is playing. My bad. Um, he, she's gonna quit because this is uh, this is our, our is already game over. Because you, you need now you can't even link off. Like this this game is over. It's it's okay. We're gonna save this replay because I'm gonna check what his extra deck to see if he was able to beat me. That's completely fine. You want to attack over my sucker? That's fine. Not even going to respond to any of that you're doing. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Go ahead, man. Like I said, like you, you, if if Dark Destroyer was that fucking good, just imagine at every turn, removing from play, doing all this extra shit. Like, come on. Like, if Dark Destroyer was that damn good, because it floats, this floats can banish the spell some monster and banish the spell and trap. And you can't target anything on my board. So in phase, we can banish the spell and trap. We'll banish Sky Iris. And then what we'll do, we'll banish this because I don't, I don't want him to keep those. And then, oh God, this game is completely over. Banish the spell and trap. And then we can do this. Y'all want to know how fucking over this game is actually is? Watch this, folks. I'm going to let him keep that until the end of the phase. Watch this. So we're going to activate you, do that, we're going to add Revenant, this, watch how over this game is, like, you, you cannot, yeah, like, this, this is not the game, this is definitely not the deck for you to let have multiple turns, like, this is definitely not the deck you want, like, to let that happen with, definitely not the deck. So now, not only can you not target, <laughs> not only can you not target, bro not only can you not target um, now you have to deal with two of them now you have to deal with two of them not being able you, you can't target anything and then I can banish the special summon monster and banish spells the trap so this is probably oh I should have a game but no I want to see what he can do I want to see what he can do because like and then in the end phase I'm going to banish that skill Yep, in phase, banish the scale, and that may have been a that may have been bad decision. May have been a bad decision, but it's cool. It's cool. We're gonna rock. We're gonna rock with it. Excuse me. There we go. That's what happens. That's what happens. Like we're gonna save this replay though, because we're gonna see what is in, what's in her extra deck. All right, folks. So this is what was when the extra deck. So he was able to do two level sevens. I'm going into this wasn't going to be able to do anything because once again I have Origin protects every protects my monster, Absolute Dragon. Um, he didn't have no fours, so um, this was going to get what's the name, so that didn't matter. This was going to get banished, so that didn't matter. And then he could have went Meteor Burst to get another seven, I guess. But once again, when he plays a big eye, he plays Absolute and Flare Metal. And this is special summon any wait what? 
special one odd eyes monster this is not an odd eyes this is the only other odd eyes monster in your extra deck and this cannot do anything so yeah i don't think there was, actually he could have stalled no he couldn't have stalled because i just would have brought another guy out and banished it so yeah man there was really nothing he could have did but going big eye was not the smartest play he could have actually just attacked me right once we turn you attack involving the monster you control and our opponent's monster if you have odd eyes card the other pendulum zone uh, that's not even the damn that's not even the effect he had he had the pendulum effect yeah there was nothing she can do all right folks so yeah that was the deck for today I, I did get a little cocky at the end but man you guys don't understand how much i hate odd eyes and especially i hate pendulums man i mean you guys probably do know how much i hate pendulums because yeah i just don't like the deck but Damn, this is it's, it's so good to be able to do all those plays in like, oh my god, when you can get Executor unable to be targeted, and you banish in the Spelling Trap, which is not too hard to do with this deck, it's just amazing, man. And it's literally, like I said, if Dark Destroyer was that damn good when it came out, it's a 3,000 untargetable beater, and on, upon summon, only when it's summon, it can banish a mon I mean, ban destroy a monster. This can banish a special summon monster. This can. This is a cosmic cyclone. This is a uh, dark core. I don't know if anybody know that effect, but I mean, let me, let me, let me. It's a. It's literally a dark. Uh, hold on, time out. It's literally this. It's this, but it's only for special summon monsters. It's this is a cosmic cyclone, and it's untargetable. My God, and it's protection in the graveyard from origin. And then if you don't, if you don't, if you're not able to get rid of this, it's, it's going to be over because I'm going to just bring out a Slayer or another one of these Executors that can't be targeted, that can't, that can ban a spell and trap. So that's what's really good about this deck is that if you can be able to go off turn one, turn two, if your opponent cannot, has nothing to get over, which you can just basically, you're going to banish two spells and traps if they have back row, you're going to banish two spells and monsters if they have monsters. The game is get real over because once you bring another one that's equipped with these effects, it's over. And I can now understand why Konami didn't make, make uh, busting basically didn't allow us to have multiple Hound Hordes uh, in the same turn because it's just too good, I guess. But I mean, there's other there's other decks that does similar shit but better, and it's not once per turn, and it doesn't require half the shit like it doesn't require half the skill it does take. To bring all these monsters out and not have them destroyed and not have them negated or you know stuff like that so yeah man really liking the new support now this may you know this may this may take vendreds from tier 10 to tier 4 but you know we still have to climb three tiers so maybe if we get another card i don't know i really feel like we should get a card that's un it makes the vendred unaffected and untributed and that would really make or we should get a continuous score. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you guys do like this Vendra Turbo deck. Shout out to Protocurity for giving me the idea to throw some trade-ins, some allures, and some executors. So we can just cycle through the whole deck. Um, but be careful, folks. If you do play this deck, really be careful because um, you can run out of you can run out of all your shit very easily turn two. So that's definitely be careful for that. But besides that, enjoy you guys this day. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Link Zombie Warriors. But it's Link Synchro Warriors because I've seen a deck and I like it and uh, I'm going to play it. And also, if you guys do enjoy this channel and would like to help the channel out, donate to the channel. Links are in the description down below. I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned.